about Jamaica, baby. They made me to be the greatest. Serving the deed of my creators. Fresh off of my high haters. It's the king again. Magdalene Sofit bragging and boasting. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Dollars. Welcome back to the channel. It's another day, another dollar video. And I'm going to be reacting to John Wick Chapter 4, the official trailer dropped today. Um, I think the last one ended with him being betrayed by that dude that owns the hotel that was his friend, but betrayed him. I don't know if his friend betray betrayed him because that was the only way for him to get out the situation. So maybe he did that because he had to, but they setting it up like that's going to be the villain. And I do enjoy the John Wick movies. The first one was my favorite one out of all of them. Like, that's the one I watched the most. The other two, I haven't watched them as much. But I still enjoy it for what it is. I love the action, the gun fu. You know what I'm saying? That's what you watch. That's what you get when you watch a John Wick movie. You're there for the action, the big set pieces. And, you know, you wonder what else can they bring to the table that they haven't done already. And I feel like the John Wick franchise was a franchise that reinvigorated uh, Keanu Reeves' career. He's starting to get way more offers. He went MIA for a while and he came back. And he's going crazy. I think he also got a Constantine Part 2 he's going to be making, I think. And they are working on a John Wick video game, which I'm very excited for that. And they're doing a spinoff to John Wick. So, hey, listen, man, I'm not against it. You know, if you could start a new franchise, it's very rare that we get new franchises in Hollywood anymore, bro. You got a lot of people remaking old shit. They running out of ideas. And, you know, John Wick is an action a franchise it's not like they reinventing the wheel but it's just entertaining bro and that's all we want entertainment we don't want no woke bullshit anyway without further ado let's check out the trailer i usually do the green screen but i was lazy so apologies you think your wife can hear you no it man oh, my father maybe i'm wrong You're going to die. Maybe not. Goodbye to you, my <laughs> trust. John Wick is unkillable, bro. A new day is dawning. New ideas, new rules, new management. We've known each other since we were nine. Who is this? The Marquis de Gramo. Challenge him to single combat. Win or lose, it's a way out. <laughs> Let me guess. He... I don't sit at the table. Your family does. Please pray for what? I was the black sheep of the family. Let me guess. He got a brother, a sister. Man, look his best when it's time to get married or buried. I'm going to need a gun. <laughs> That's his favorite line right there. If you win, the table will honor its word. You will have your freedom. Under the old laws, only one can survive. Failure to meet at sunrise will result in execution. Mm. <laughs> Last words, Winston. Just have fun out there. <laughs> I want you to find your peace. But a good death only comes after a good life. You and I left a good life behind a long time ago, my friend. When is it coming out? March 24th? All right, I'm there. Yeah, I'm there, bro. This one looks way better than part three. I'll tell you that much. Um, The thing that caught me off guard was the fact that they said his family sits at the table. So I'm assuming that um, Bill Skarsgård, which is the actor that played the It, it in the last It movies, that might be one of his relatives. And the reason why they're setting up this challenge is because he has a relative that sits at the table. Because if not, they just would have killed him already. So that's why I'm trying to like, figure out what's going on with the story and who is he gonna challenge is it donnie yen that's the who he gotta beat 
I don't know. Listen, I don't care, but it looks good. I like the way the, the film is shot. There's a lot of nice little scenes where it's shot nice, like the angles, the cinematography. And uh, yeah, I'm here, man. I'm there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keanu Reeves can do no wrong. I love watching his movies. I'm just happy to see him back after The Matrix. You know, he didn't really do a lot of movies after that, but he's back and, he, you know, he's better than ever, man. And I love the John Wick franchise, even though I feel like the first movie was fire and then everything else just, I don't know what's going on anymore, but it is what it is, man. I just want to be entertained. It looks entertaining. So if you guys are excited for this, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know what's your favorite Keanu Reeves movie. You guys probably could guess which my, which one is mine. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, don't forget, subscribe, hit the like button. It's your boy Dollars. I'm off this. For my time goes by, they gon' raise a nigga jersey in the sky. Treat a nigga right, big dreaming all my life. Sure they wanna get some air, I go and get up when I fly. Taking off on these niggas, I retire. The minute I catch fire, I smoked them all before, just revisiting the high.